What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Panfro Games, and I almost forgot about this stream as well, so don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I almost forgot about this stream as well, but we're here. We're live. We're doing it big. I hope everything looks good and is great. I set this up in two seconds after posting my brand new Pokemon Scarlet and Violet video that everyone should be watching right after this as well, because holy moly, we are popping off right now. We're popping off today, dude. We got a hot new Pokemon exploit video out. We got stream during the middle of the work day we're out here also don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the stream as well helps me out a lot so this is gonna be 45 minutes of indie games new indie games and my friends indie game will be here too so we're doing it we're doing it we're, we're all watching it right now Let's do it. Let's do it. Hey, what's up? What's up, Caleb? How you doing? I know. We're doing so much, dude. I had to not go to an all-staff meeting today. This is my urgent appointment. This should be urgent. Trust. I want to do that. I just want... And there we go. Hopefully everything's set up well. All right, it's time. It's time. 45 minutes of indie games, no ads, just indies. Everything we want to see is going to be here. Oh, let me turn off the closed cache. Buckle up, folks. The initiative starts now. And I got to not look at my phone because I'm already being spoiled. Oh, let me, can I increase the quality? 1080p. Oh, shit. Yo, I'm loving the art, though. Slade Aspire 2? That's sick. That's dope. That's hella dope. Early access 2025? Damn. Okay, not even this year. Okay, 2025 stacking up to be too hot. Bro, if they show us Silk Song here, chat, it's over. It's so over. We could see Silk Song here today. Risk of Rain 2 update. Dude, I haven't played this game in so long, but the game is so good. Wait, is this a Dead Cells collab? Oh, shit. Dead Cells Risk of Rain collab? That's, that's pretty sick. I really have not played this game in such a long time, though. It was pretty sick when I played it, though, but that was, like, right when it came into early access. It looks way different now. It's free update, too. That's sick. World Premiere. Okay, right, this is already my type of game. Kill Knight? I'm in it. This is my vibe. Oh yeah, I twin stick shooter. Hell yeah, I'm in it. Twin stick shooters, bro. We we rarely get these anymore. I'm all in. What's up, Wad? Yeah, this is badass. That's sick. Damn. 
Yo, what is this? It looks like Minecraft of a gun. <laughs> this city's got it all. Oh, this game! Bartenders, I applied for a code for this game. Doctors, I'm hype. Enforcers, killers. Like a noir based now, a new kind game. Of in town. The bullet might have come from across the street, but the gun came from under it. Black market dealers are just like anybody else. They do their work, they clock out, they go home. Nobody keeps better records than a crook. And killers always leave a trail. All I gotta do is find them. Before they kill again. This is so sick. I hope I get this game. I would love to stream it. Shadows of Doubt. It was on the schedule. It's gonna be coming soon. What's up, Rune? Oh, it was a farming game. Boo! <laughs> what? Why we got? Why we got red, blue, and green guys like the like the gym leaders from Gen Five? My time at Sand Rock. Why they make a game about Tatooine, bro? We didn't think the Viking raid. English 1002. What a year. You, a lord of England, must tame the land. Establish this is another survival game, dude. Keep it supplied as it grows. Construct fortifications. I'm so over survival games. Mighty castle. Train your forces and prepare to man the ramparts. It's like survival RTS, though, in a way. I guess not made on RTS, but you're making an army. Oh, what the hell? There's a T-Rex. Okay. There's the there's the pool. Okay. Now I'm suddenly way more interested. Bro! Second stories? What the... What is happening? I'm way more invested. Hey, Ankylosaur, my favorite dinosaur. Little raptors. Big raptor. Will be no. Dino lords. All right. I'm sort of. I'm sort of. Uh. I'm invested. I'm invested. This looks like some Metroidvania. Wait. What? What? This looks sort of similar to something. <laughs> I don't know why they're showing all this dialogue. The gameplay looks good, though. Nice skill tree. Aries. We got guns. The Knight. What, what a name. Gestalt. Okay, well, we know what that means. Some, something about fake humans out here. Hey, that's Greg Miller. That's Greg Miller. All oh, Vampire Spiders coming to PlayStation? They put Greg Miller in the ad for it? That's sick. That's sick. All right, if you've never played Vampire Survivors, everyone play it. You can literally get it on your phone for free right now. This game is goaded. Top 10 indie game of all time right here. That's so sick, dude. One of the greatest games of all time. Oh, shit. New update. Oh, shit. We got a gunman. Wait, is it Contra? It's Contra. It's fucking Contra. I'm wearing Contra shorts right now. Let's go. That's sick. That's badass. 
Bro, that's so... <laughs> Dude, Contra dudes in freaking Vampire Survivors is crazy. And we get new enemies. Oh, my God. This is so sick. This is so sick, dude. Holy, whole new levels, whole new enemies. Bro, let's go. Operation Guns. The new Vampire Survivors. What's up, Matt? New update. This game is sick, dude. This game is the best way to spend, like, a, best way to spend 15 minutes on the toilet. Oh, shit. Brad Fang from Contra. Oh, shit. My name is Eric Hillman, and I am the composer for Flintlock. I would describe the world of Flintlock as this beautiful mixture of dust and dirt and grime. Wow. With dust and dirt. And gods. Looks like Mega Man Zero. Wonder. My main focus for the music in Flintlock was trying to achieve a sound that felt unique to this world and unique to the setting, unique to these enemies, unique to these characters. For the idea of combat in this game, I wanted it to feel very specific and specifically small. For the gods, I went completely in the other direction. This doesn't look that great. I wanted it to feel like you were up against something awesome and something epic. Yo, where's my friend's game at? Up against a real challenge. Where's Abdul's game? I want to see it. What's up, Athis? How you doing, bro? Most excited for players to experience a type of game and a type of world. Hey, thank you for the 12 months, brother. Thank you for love and support. Thank you, thank you. One whole year of support. Love it. Alright, I'm gonna say this. This was the only game I didn't care about besides the the farming game. World premiere. Humble games. Never alone. I've never played that. That's a huge ass. Bird head. Oh no, she's gonna get eaten by a whale. Oh, that's a creepy whale. Oh, my friend's working on it. The new Hyper Life Drifter. Dude, I had a human face. Who knows what it was? Okay, we got tower defense. I do like tower defense. It was not always like this. Our empire was lost to centuries of mist. Did we overuse the perlas? Their infinite power? Maybe. The horrors were born, and that day the cataclysm began. The yeah, all the enemies look really the same. And we grew stronger. Mm. Then it looks cool, but I feel like I wouldn't like it. Oh, that was a weird enemy. Okay. I like more weird enemies. I didn't even get to read the title. It was, tw it was, I don't know what the name of that game was. It was way too quick. I couldn't read it. Oh shit, we got a Diablo clone. Alright, this is actually hype. Because Diablo 4 sucks. Oh, is this more like a Vampire Survivor clone? It looks like Diablo, but like Vampire Survivor style. Yeah, it is a Vampire Survivors, but Diablo style. Oh, hey chat, you know that Shadows of a Doubt game we were talking about? I got a code for it. Let's go. Let's go. We can play that. We can play Shadows of a Doubt. Allow me to as the God. Nah, this is definitely Diablo. If you look at the bottom, you can see like the HUD sort of looks like Diablo. And that skill tree looks very Diablo-ish too. 
This is like if you look at Diablo 2, this, this this is just how Diablo looks. Like the health bar being at the bottom like that. I've seen too much Diablo 2 because I watched too much Eris on Twitch. This is not your end. Death must die this looks interesting. You have a boon system like in Hades with the gods. Interesting. What the hell is this? When Earth turns against you. Survival. Yeah, I'm waiting, I was just waiting for my friend to game the guy on. Oh, not for me. This is too complicated. Two, you show me this screen in a video game, I can't do it. You show me a, a, a map, an X, Y, and Z axis, dude, it's over. When is my Path of Exile era? Never. I'm too stupid to play those games, Matt. Path of Exile, I played it once, literally. The, I, I, I opened the skill tree, instantly uninstalled the game. The skill tree is endless. We live. I lasted literally 30 minutes in Path of Exile. To survive. End zone two. I just thought of an NFL meme. <laughs> what is this? Dude, everything's a building game. Okay, this looks insane though. What the hell? Okay. Okay, it's cute. They got personality. Dude, I've never played Stardew Valley and I own it. It's not my type of game. I can't play games that don't have an ending. Wait, this looks some this looks familiar. I do like this. This art style looks very cute. This somehow for some reason it looks like Enter the Gungeon to me. Like it has Enter the Gungeon art style a little bit. Baggle Baggle Bag. What a name. I could play something like this. Well, I'm not in love with it, you know? But I could definitely try it. It does look fun. Undermine 2. Oh, Undermine! I played the first game a little bit. Back when I first started doing YouTube videos, I did a video on Undermine. Norland. Oh, I'm out. I'm so out, dude. I'm so out right now. I can't do this. Okay, this game does look funny, though. See, I can't play Minecraft. I, I I can't do... I'm not a survival game player either. I burn out real quick on survival games. I probably... My favorite survival game was like Power World and Valheim. Okay, this is weird, but I like it. Alright, this is weird as shit. I'm in. Hell yeah, it's realistic. This is how I feel when I wake up in the morning. Oh, by the what's the golf people? 
This game's sick, dude. I might buy this because it looks freaking disgusting. I like that. I love disgusting games like that. Enter the Children of the Sun game we played yesterday. Oh my god, it has heals. Wait, it's a demo. There's a demo? Oh, okay, we'll play the demo. Yeah, hey, we'll check it out. That has a break and keep you on our hype train until the end. Nice intermission. So far we've seen. Night riding dinosaurs, bots. Okay, too okay. Too much. Only a few more roguelites. Cats, mice. Still hyped. Yes. Phew. Let's go. Secrets and the whispers brought now to the Yo, floor. Silk Song. No, this is good. Red Hook is good. Red Hook is a great si Darkest Dungeon 2 DLC. Darkest Dungeon 2 DLC. This game is cracked. I still need to beat Darkest Dungeon 2 because that game is hard as shit. Wait. This is new? No, wait, this is Darkest Dungeon 1. Wait, this is not 2. This is 1. Wait. Wait, what is... What's happening with 1? This is not 2. Righteousness. Reinforced. Wait. Wait, this is a wait. Wait. What are they doing? This, this is new. This is new this is a new Darkest Dungeon game. And bleed it dry. What? This squalid kingdom. Kingdoms! New game mode. Okay, okay. I was about to say. Free update for the first game. Wait, a free update for the first game and not the second? That's so weird. It's like Darkest Dungeon 1 and 2 are like completely different games. And I feel like a lot more people like 1 more than 2. Growing up, we were heavily inspired by retro platformers, anime, and graffiti. And wanted to Damn, I like his dog though. Dude, this guy has a sick dog. This is the first project we have created together as a team, and we are very proud to be both published by Gearbox Publishing and also included as part of Riot Games on the Represented Founders program. Damn, this dog is so like, first look. like, why you gotta have the camera on me, bro? World premiere. <laughs> what is this? This style is sick. I love his graffiti. It's gonna be. Oh, what is this? She's flying? I was about to say, I was like, is it gonna be a skating game? They already just got Bomb Fung Cyber Rush. What, what type of game is this? I don't know what kind of game this is. Where's the gameplay? I don't know. I. They didn't show me anything. That sucks. Oh god, some zombie game. Wait, turn base zombie or post popular game or whatever? Broken Roads is a post apocalyptic narrative driven RPG set in the desolate beauty of the vast Australian outback. Australian. To survive. This is my type of game. I'll play this. Guided by the moral compass, if it's good. An all new alignment system that will test your worldview against nihilist, humanist, utilitarian, and Machiavellian ideas. Become a hired gun, a jackaroo, a survivor, a jackaroo, a member of a barter crew, and discover their unique attribute bonuses, starting skills, and reputation within the world. Form bonds with a diverse cast of companions, each with their own moral leaning and ideal outcome for the many challenges you'll face on your journey across Western Australia. Broken Roads is available now. Mm, I probably wouldn't play it though. All right, let's see.
Avalon has been reduced to the shadow of a bygone age. Nightmares have breached the last standing bastion of reverie. Oh no, a co-op roguelike. Heroes of the Raven's Watch are our last hope to overcome the Only issue, I don't have anyone to play with. <laughs> Oh, right, those look cool. And there's a Wukong in it. Thanks for the sub. I don't actually, I don't think it looks that good. I don't think it looks that good, actually. I fear a darker menace. Even if it's single player, I don't think I'll play it. In the shadows. What what is this? Some pirate game? Oh my god, pirate mice. Are we gonna play as cats or some shit? Cat quest billion, whatever. Cat quest three? Oh my god. What is this? It's a JoJo. They got the star tattoo. <laughs> they they got stand powers. Oh my god, it is Cat Quest 3 or 4 or whatever number they're on. I've never played any of these games. What Cat Quest 3. There you go. Oh, there it is. That's my friend's game. All right. I'm I'm day 1. I'm day 0. Very hype. This looks good. Damn, got smacked. Yeah, this looks brutal, man. Hyperlight Breaker. Are we just gonna get a release year? It's gonna be this year, right? Early access, summer 2024. All right, Abdul, I'm messaging him right now. Give me, give code, please. Thanks. <laughs> the last spell I ever played. Never played Last Spell. Not my type of game, though. I mean, I'll probably get, I'll probably get something. It's early access, so I'll definitely be playing it. And it's in the summer, too. Yeah, I'm hype. My friend does, uh, he does animation work for Hyper Life Drifter or Breaker. And he worked on Solar Ash as well. Yo, he's gonna get me. Oh yeah. What is this? I like the vibes. Vibes are immaculate right now. But it looks like some city builder. It's over. It's over for me. Dude, I look at a cool game, city builder, we're gone. It's, this is the fourth time this happened today. We need more butter tea. <laughs> we need more butter tea. Feed the monks. <laughs> oh no, avalanche, no. Oh no, it's raining. Oh no, northern lights. It's snowing. There's birds. Oh no. Summit Kingdom.
trials are upon us. Will we finally see one word? Are we gonna see Silk Song though? Immortality? Now, I'd be cool with a wizard who could survive past the first round. The hell is this first? This wizard wields fire archive. Oh, I thought I say, is this is a first person. Here? The Maybe the contest is finally heating up. This looks like a roguelike. Smell that burning. That's the scent of failure. She's onto an electrifying I never had the brain for those types of games. I was just they're just my kryptonite. It's just all menus. Welcome to Deadsville. Population her. Oh, but it's multiplayer. Nope. Eh. I pass. Incredible. The best I've seen. I feel a little bit generic. But to win, it will take a champion. A master. No. Legend. Wizard of Legend 2. <laughs> okay. I don't know about the first game. School management game. Oh, great. So, like, look at, dude. I just can't. Okay, what school has a freaking arcade in it, bro? Now it's on Switch. Oh, yeah, you were... Okay, there is a... Well, there is a roguelike we're going to see probably at the end of the show today. Which is by the Dead Cells team. Oh, this game is sick. Bro, Tato. Bro, bro, or whatever. This game is awesome. It's just like Vampire Survivors, but... But it's different enough that I like it a lot. I got this game for like two dollars. It was fun. Oh, they added four player local now. That's pretty sick. So yeah, there I saw one leak of probably the biggest game, and there will be a Dead Cells game here. But under a very awesome IP. Which hopefully it shows up here. Well, most of these games are new. What the hell? Oh, this is Chia or whatever. It's just whatever. This, yeah, this was on PlayStation. This game is pretty cool. SSI not required. I haven't heard of it. I'll have to check it out. This game is going to run like shit on the Switch. It looks so much better on PlayStation 5. Damn, it's coming to Switch, but not Xbox. It's funny, bro. Damn. Oh. Oh, what is this? Streets of Rogue 2. Streets of Rogue 2? Okay. Sandbox, set in a I'm about this. Randomly generated open world. With this ambitious sequel, our goal is to create the most open-ended and fun sandbox experience ever. And this is wild the shit. Ultimate freedom of choice that made the original Ooh, game ride. A cult hit. In Streets of Rogue 2, your mission is to overthrow a corrupt president of a small country, either solo or with friends via online co-op. How you reach your goal is completely up to you. Assemble a mercenary army and plan a coup. Stage a zombie virus outbreak. Or just chill out, build a farm, and totally ignore the main quest. Wow. From a diverse <laughs> roster of playable character classes, each with their I'll definitely have to pay attention for this. This does look fun. Take a look at these glorious bastards. Hacker, chef, cultist, wrestler, detective, ninja, also gorilla. And gorilla, werewolf. werewolf. And, uh, investment banker? And many more. Be sneaky. Or go Dude, farming has me in every game. But as long as farming's not the main point of the game, I can definitely try it. There are multiple ways to complete each mission. Wreak havoc with a vast arsenal of weapons, gadgets, and vehicles. Oh, throw guns, monkeys, legs, monkeys traps, in a barrel. Supercars and speedboats. Check boomboxes, banana peels, rat summoning oak arena. 
Necronomicon? Uh, check, I guess. The huge procedurally generated map of Streets of Rogue 2 features multiple beautiful biomes. Bustling cities, serene countryside. It's funny. I like this a lot. I, I, this is definitely one of my picks of the show for sure. Graveyards. Explore this lively world. Engage with its quirky inhabitants. And write your own story. Streets of Rogue 2 is coming to Steam Early Access later this year. Add the game to your wish list. I'll definitely be getting an email after the show about like everything I was showing off here. Oh, oh god, I don't uh, not for me. I'm looking dude, look at this. Menus, hexagons, bro. I can't. I can't. Oh, I can't read. I can't read all of that. It's over. I can't read all those, dude. <laughs> Oh, Power World update. PvP arena. Why is there like no audio in this trailer? That was it? <laughs> Bro, I'm so over Power World. I don't even want to talk about it anymore. What is this game? This looks cool. Oh, I've seen this game before. It looks cool. Our world's hella mid. This looks fun. I like the art style. This one looks super sick. I think it was at a PlayStation showcase or something before. I definitely remember seeing this. Like a year ago. Like this is super sick. It seems multiplayer though. Which always is like questionable if I can play it solo. Oh, there's like a lot of people. I wonder if this is, yeah, like this is online multiplayer and you just play with like randoms. Because it sort of seems like that. Because that was more than four people. Hades, too. I wouldn't be surprised if you see something on Hades, too. Yeah, the vibes are immaculate in this game. It, I love how it looks. 33 Immortals. Whoa, closed beta. I might sign up for that. Hades is fun. Another play side game. Oh my god, this looks like Cuphead. And nothing says you more than a can of healthy spinach. Spiked spinach? What is this, some bootleg Popeye shit? Popeye's the mouse? Oh, this game! Dude, yes, I'm day one. I forgot this was the... Yes. The first person, like, steampunk willy game. Dude, I'm so day one on this. I'm so day one. Mouse. I already wish was this. It is on everything. Oh god, is this that V Rising game? I I never tried it. I just didn't even I didn't even accept the code for it. I just I don't know. I felt like I wouldn't play it. It looks different from V Rising, but I might be right. This is another build up your fort game and then explore for sure. That's Alucard. For sure.
Ew. <laughs> look, at this, look at this dude. He's nasty, bro. Dude, I feel like this is a bad trailer. I, will show you the might of the house I mean, that's... Hey, we got Simon. Is this a is this a Castlevania update for V Rising? Like what's happening? It has to be. Yep. Yep. Battle Simon Belmont. coming to PS5. World premiere. World premiere. Okay, I like the vibes. I like the art. Oh, this is this is the Dead Cells Prince of Persia game. This is Death's Hell's Prince of Persia game. This looks sick. Oh no, he's dead. But the sands of time will send them back. Dude, is this the gameplay? Yo, this looks so f Okay, this is fire. This is fire. This is so sick. Oh shit, this is so sick. A Prince of Persia to roguelike with this style, dude. Yeah. No, it's day one. Day one. It's over. They nailed it. They absolutely nailed it. The rogue. Early access, May 14th. Yes, all of this leaked. Bought a Dead's Hell's team. Studio Evil. And that's the showcase. That was pretty good, honestly. There was a lot of games that I'm very excited about. That yeah, Vampire Survivors update is gonna be fire. I mean, Prince, dude, Prince of Persia Rogue is gonna be insanely good, dude. I'm hyped for that uh, crime game that I got. Of course, uh, I play like Breaker. Yes, the, uh, the Streets of Rogue Two looks sick. Those are probably my standouts in the mouse game. Slate Aspire 2 is massive. I just didn't play the first game, but like people love Slate Aspire, so. That was sick. Wait, we're coming back in a few seconds of exclusive gameplay and live streams on stream I and Twitch. Wow. <laughs> so Steam Early Access, May 14th. That's literally sick as shit. Like, yeah, this is massive. What the car look fun too. Is it gonna be in the same stream? I wonder if if they start with Prince of Persia, I'll probably watch it. If they don't, then we'll see. Still going. They're still going. Oh no! All right. 
I think they mean on Twitch. All right, well, I'm going to end the stream here, chat. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all of you guys. It was awesome. It was fun. I'll uh, catch you guys later at 8 p.m. Eastern tonight. I actually don't know what we're going to be playing. I'm not going to lie. Uh, We might be playing... We might be playing... Uh, Hold on, let me look at this real quick. The The noir game tonight. What was that again? Where was that new war game? I don't even remember. I have a code for it. So, like, we might be playing it. I don't remember. But anyways, well, we might check that out. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you later. Have a good one.